Next we gonna see how to modify the users using the CSV file. You can use the CSV file, which has been created during the time of creation. We already have exported bulk users CSV, which holds the full details of the users created as a bulk. To modify the data, you can make changes in the necessary fields in the CSV file. If you feel difficult in editing the CSV file, you can load the CSV file into UI and you can change the data there. I will work it out now. Click modify using CSV. Here also you have two views as in creation. I select the native GUI view. Next I import the CSV file to modify the users. I have not changed any details in the CSV file, as I feel it is difficult for me. Hence I loaded the CSV file by keeping data unchanged. You could now find the records in CSV listed in the UI. You can make changes for the individual records or you can populate same value for every records. Here I am going to set a same department name for all users and different titles for individual users. I just click populate and set the department as production. This will be applied for all the three users. Next give title to each of them separately like this. Similarly you can change any fields you would like. However you should not change the match criteria field, with which the records are identified by the system for applying the changes. Now I keep given name and SN as the match field to apply the changes. You can verify the records with the updated values. Clicking modify will update the AAD. Now our changes are committed. If you want to modify the specific details for the bulk users, you can use this sub-panel which have all the details pane separately. If you want to modify the organization details, click on the organization. Organization window opens. Give values for the fields you want to modify. Here. Select the users from AD or you can use the CSV file exported during creation time. I select the users from AD, hence clicking this option and clicking next. After selecting the users, click modify. Our records are updated now. Next we gonna see how to delete the users from AD. Here you can delete the users by selecting them from AD or you can delete them using the CSV which contains the details about the user. I select it from AD you can either select the users or containers to be deleted. I select users. Here I find the users. And delete them. Now the user is deleted. Next we are going to see how to move the users from one container to other. Here in home page select move option. Specify the container, where you want to move the data. Select the users to move. Then click OK. Now you can move this users to destination. Yes, it's moved. Next we gonna see how to unlock the users. First select the users to unlock. Click unlock. Now the user is unlocked. Next we gonna export the user's details. Click export. Select the user's list you wanted to export. You can select the required attribute to be exported. Also you have been provided the option to view the attributes in display format. Here I select some attributes and moving it to the export list. Click next and click the export button. I select the format as CSV and saving it. The user details are exported. The process of managing the computers and contacts in a bulk manager is very similar. If you have any further assistance in working out our tool please download our user manual from our website. Hope administrators would be greatly benefited by this tool. We are very glad to receive your suggestions and queries about this tool. Thanks for being with us.
Looking forward to serve you better. Thank you.